Well, hey, folks, and welcome again to the More Summer 2020 Adventures Day uh, 98 on October the 1st, 2020. Uh, hey, listen, we're still here at the uh, Valley RV Park uh, in uh, Buena Vista, Colorado, uh, enjoying some great, great weather. Um, yes, they had to turn the heater on this morning. All right, get that little chill off, but uh, it warmed up into maybe the high 70s, Mom. You know, um, just a good day. A good day weather-wise, okay? Um, we got this morning, you know, and, and went into town, went to the roastery, which is a, a a coffee place here in town where they roast their own coffee beans and, and all that kind of good stuff and have a few pastries, whatever. And then went to Lobach's uh, Bakery, which is a... An icon, okay. Um, the low back sold it a couple years ago. Um, the daughter of the original owners uh, was in my class, and uh, her younger brother uh, stuck around uh, for a little while after they sold it uh, for a smooth transition, you know. And uh, they uh, they give the uh, new owners the uh, original recipes and all that, and he kind of helped them. So what we bought today was like I used to get when I lived here, okay. Um, but, you know, then we came back here and, uh, we're getting ready to go to Leadville to, uh, ride the train, like I told you all yesterday, and all of a sudden, uh, I got a red light on my dash that says check gauges, and I do that, and my battery gauge is like zero. So, uh, you know, we, uh, I turn around and head back into town and, and find a garage, and, they were willing to work on it, but they were afraid to work on it because they were so backed up, knowing that we were out of town. And this being Thursday, they only give them one day to get their stuff done ahead of me, then my stuff, and be finished before the weekend because they're closed on the weekends. Long story short, they uh, you know referred me to another garage. Um, they took great care of me, you know, basically. Uh, hey, <laughs> yeah, had to replace the alternator. So uh, that being said, we didn't get to. Uh, to Leadville, um, maybe we'll do that this weekend. I, I, I don't know, um, but uh, we got that. And Chrissy says, "Well, you know, listen, we need some bottled water, and we need this, we need that." So we stopped at the grocery store on the way back here to the RV. One of my classmates that we were going to meet in Pagosa Springs is here. Um, she was helping her family move some cattle from one pasture to the other pasture. You know, from the the summer grazing to the winter grazing, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but she texted me and said, you know, because she knew it was in town. And I talked to her yesterday. And uh, so we were able to get together and spent, what, Mama, maybe an hour, hour and a half? Two hours. <laughs> Two hours there at what we call the K, or the K's, which is a uh, uh, hamburger stand and soft serve ice cream stand. Okay. It's been here for years. Well, in 1955. Okay. So, you know, uh, that would be 65 years you know, um, that they've been here in existence in the same spot. Um, but, uh, so we spent like two hours just visiting and everything. And, you know, uh, as I told you before, and alluded to before anyway, um, you know, we were supposed to have a multi-year high school reunion here, um, you know, all from 1975 and, and before, you know, but because of COVID and everything, it got canceled a couple of months ago. But we were already in the road, so we decided to come here. Fortunately, uh, I've been able to, to meet up with Bonnie today. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to go to St. Elmo. Another one of my classmates uh, is going to go with us, you know, so we can spend some time uh, visiting with her. Um, and then I still got a couple more classmates in the area. Uh, one of my good friends uh, just had uh, some some back problems, and, and they've changed the medication on him, so... You know, he's convalescing. Hopefully, uh, before Tuesday, I'll be able to uh, to meet up with him, at least talk to with him on the phone, whatever. Um, if not, go to his place. I'd, you know, I'd, I'd be a little leery going to his place with COVID and everything. I don't want to to make things bad for him. Um, but uh, anyway, and then there's a couple more that uh, I'm hoping to uh, to meet up with uh, this weekend or whatever before we leave. You know. But having said all that, okay, told you that we went to the coffee shop and then we were headed and then we had problems. Uh, the owner's wife brought us back here to the RV. So we stayed here. Then around 
2.30, she calls and said, okay, it's all fixed. She came and picked us up, took us back. So, you know, stuck here in the RV. Couldn't go anywhere. There's, there's just a couple of pictures. Mainly, is, folks, it's just going to be the video tonight. I do have a couple of pictures. You know, one of Chrissy. Uh, yeah, I've already posted. Uh, and, and, you know, there been some comments about why did I take that picture when she was eating? Because... Instead of smiling for the camera, she's eating. <laughs> so, love you, baby. <laughs> she give me that look. Uh -huh. And then, uh, of course, a picture of, of Chrissy and me and, and uh, Bonnie uh, there at Case. So, you know, only a couple pictures. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we'll definitely make up for it. Uh, you know, uh, there at St. Elmo. St. Elmo, for those of you who don't know, is uh, an old ghost mining town. Um that in, in its heyday, there was over 20,000 people living there. Um, there are still some residents that live there during the summer, but when the snow comes in, the road gets closed and uh, it's, it's shut down for the winter. Um, so we're going there tomorrow. Again, one of my other classmates, you know, told me, you know, you picked a great time to be here because the weather is just, you know, cool mornings. Uh, yes, I still had shorts on. Okay, I didn't put any long pants on yet, you know, to had shorts on and a t-shirt. But it was cool, and, it, you know, I, I looked forward to it warming up. A uh, slight breeze, so there was a little bit of a wind chill this morning. But it, like I say, it, it, it wasn't long, and it warmed up. Um, so it was a good day. The Jeep is now fixed, okay? I mean, there's some other issues that we're going to have to wait till we get home to take care of, but there are issues that can wait, okay? It doesn't it doesn't hinder the performance or the, the drivability of the Jeep, so... We still got a mode of transportation other than the RV, and I wouldn't take this up those roads. I've been up those roads before. This RV ain't going up that one. <laughs> all right, but uh, hey, it was all good. Um, again, sorry there's no pictures today. You know, maybe we can get that Leadville train ride. Uh, uh, you know, and, and everybody's telling me, oh, this would be a great time because the leaves are all turning. You know, Bonnie pointed out today, yes, that's true, but as dry as it's been with the wind, a lot of those leaves may be blown off the trees already. We don't know. We'll find out when we get there, if we get there. Um, but either way, with the leaves or not, it's still going to be a, a, a very majestic uh, ride because up at the top, when you look out all over the Arkansas Valley and you know the headwaters of the Arkansas River there, the Arkansas River runs down. Some of those pictures that I posted yesterday were of the Arkansas River right here in this location. So, you know, all of that saying good, you know, Buena Vista said the secret's out with the COVID. Uh, a lot of the people in the state could not leave, so they looked for internal places, and Buena was discovered as a hot spot, camp camping spot. You know, we don't have any slopes here. You know, so there's no skiing and, and that sort of stuff. You know, there's water rafting and tubing and that, you know, in the spring or in the summertime, you know. Uh, and there's fishing, you know, in the spring, summer, and fall. But... As far as winter sports, there's not, but there is a lot of camping. And now Buni has, the word is out about Buni. Um, you know, and, and one of my other classmates I talked to the other day lives over in Jack, uh, uh, Grand Junction. Shout out to you, uh, David. Um, he says, Jerry, he says, you know, I know it's been, you know, years since you've been there, since the, the last reunion. It's so changed. And he's right. I mean, the town is, I won't say it's doubled, but it's, it's, it's at least a third bigger than what it was five years ago when we were here. Um, but having said all that, it's, it's still beauty. Uh, like Bonnie said, you know, people that we knew, very few of them are still here. And they're our age, okay? Their parents are, are basically gone. Um, you know, and so it's just our classmates and a lot of us have left the beauty area. There might be... Uh, out of my class of 65, there might be might be 20 of them still in the local area. Everybody else has moved away somewhere else. Some have deceased, have de deceased, or are, are deceased either by disease or, or um, you know, uh, the Vietnam War, whatever. Okay, and other conflicts. Um, you know, so you know all that uh, is still beauty, but uh, it's changed. Okay, and. Uh, I'm glad I got to see it. And we're going to be here for a few more days, so that's okay. But let's go into better things, okay? Because I've already talked on for almost 10 minutes. You know, hey, um, today's scripture, you know, a good one, all right? Well, they're all good. Yeah, of course, okay? Um, it's Isaiah 25, 1. O Lord, you are my God. 
I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness, faithfulness and truth. And then a couple of the short versions, okay? Um, you know, I will pray, I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things. I will honor and praise your name. Okay. I, oh Lord, I will honor and praise your name, for you are my God. You know, um, you Lord are my God. You know, and those are some short versions of, of what today's verse was. And, and, it, and it's true, you know. Um, you know, Christ taught us, you know, to enter his courts with praise. You know, uh, when the disciples asked him to pray, uh, teach us how to pray, you know, and he gave them the Lord's Prayer. It's our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Okay, in other words, worshiping, honoring him. Okay, that's the first thing, you know. And, and when I pray, I'm not boasting on myself, but when I pray, you know, I pray, you know, that I come to you with honor and praise and thanksgiving. Because I am so thankful for what he brought me out of and where I am today, you know. Um, as I've said before many, many times, you know, my faith in Jesus Christ is based on my relationship with Jesus Christ, not my religionship or denominationship, what my mom and daddy taught me or what the other preacher or what the other Sunday school teacher taught me. No, it's my personal relationship with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, so when I come, you know, I, I, I honor him because I know where I was and I know what I have now. Okay, and it's because he pours out blessings on me because I do what he asks and that is honor and praise him worship him that's not really a whole lot of rules okay if you accept my son as your lord and savior who died on the cross to save your sins and honor me and respect me and praise me that's all he asks and well i got this rule and i got that rule a lot of them rules are denominationship a lot of them rules are religionship they're not a relationship now there's certain things that we're supposed to do you know, the Ten Commandments is a guideline, okay? It was given to the children of Israel to keep them out of trouble, okay? Yes, it's called the Mosaic Law for a reason, because they weren't supposed to do these things, because if they did do those things, they would be in trouble. it gave them in trouble, okay? And not with God, but with themselves and other countries, okay? You know, a lot of times that they were in captivity is because they broke that commandment, that they broke that uh, 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 uh covenant you know with with God okay so it was because oh you gotta do it this way no 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 it's because I give you these rules to keep you out of trouble okay it's like you're telling your child don't touch the stove you're gonna get burnt don't touch the stove oh my daddy's mean to me because he won't let me cut the stove touch the stove yeah. doing it for a reason because I know what's best for you God knows what's best for us even though we think we do he does we just think okay so, yeah, oh, Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things. Oh, yes, he has. For you are, your counsels of old are faithfulness faithfulness and truth. And I thank you, oh, Lord, for that. I already do. Hey, y'all be blessed. <laughs> it's already been 14 minutes. Can you believe it? I thought today would only be like maybe six or seven. It was already almost 10 when I started the scripture. Y'all be blessed. We will come to you tomorrow, and I hope, I really, truly hope I'm going to have some beautiful pictures of mountain creeks and colors and the leaves and old ghost town, mining town, all that kind of stuff. All right. Y'all be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.